Greg Powers, Dave Campbell's Texas football, and I'm out here with Brandon Jones from South Oak Cliff. Brandon, since the last time I talked to you, some big things popped off for you. You made your commitment to North Texas, spring balls done started. Um, I just kind of want to talk to you first about the team. You're a senior leader on the team. Uh, give us your assessment, man. What, how's the team looking, and what things do you need to work on to make sure you can get ring number three? Um, the team looking good. We got people to, um, feeling the places that the seniors done left. And my, I'm going moving the nickel, so I need to work on my like my coverage skills and like getting better at that. Talk about that fit at nickel. How do you feel like uh, that benefits your game, learning to play that position? Oh, it would benefit a lot because we got two good linebackers in, JJ and Kevion. So with me on the field, all three of us on the field, I feel like we can stop the run, and then the defensive back got the backside. Being a senior leader, is that something you take important? Yes, sir, because being a senior leader, like most of the time they listen to me. So if I lead, the team will go right. Um, something that you want to do or something that you want to prove out there on the field as a senior? Do you got anything left? 199 tackles last year. That's going to be tough to beat. You ain't going to beat it playing nickel probably. I ain't going to beat it playing nickel. I probably just want to get a couple picks, get my stats up. Gotcha. Uh, I got to talk about North Texas, man. It was big news whenever you made your commitment. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that you saw the articles and stuff that came out. Highest rated commitment to join that class in the internet era. Um, what was it about UNT that really drew you in and made you want to pull the trigger to play there over, you know, a lot of P5 schools? Oh, the coaches like Coach um, Coach O and Coach Gilbert, I've been knowing them. Like Coach O, I've been knowing him since I was in middle school. And Coach Gilbert, when he was at Texas, he used to talk to me a lot. So it's like family there. And then Quayla Farrar, the running back, yeah. it's like family there. So I'm Got another uh, – they got a little sock connection going, really. You got a teammate joining you. Why don't you talk about what you guys talked about whenever that happened? I want to turn into a new Oak Cliff. I got Pooley over there. I'm trying to get a little bit more. Last year they signed Taylor Starling. So, I mean, there is a, a serious connection there at sock. How did North Texas pitch you on fitting into their schemes? What was – how did they envision you playing within that defense? They pictured me playing a wheel backer. So, I still be a linebacker and a little nickel there. Gotcha. Um, kind of talk about what it's like. You went on visits and you went out to see other programs, but North Texas seems to be doing a pretty good job of uh, having fun visits and that kind of stuff. What did you see out of that visit that made you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and pull the trigger? Uh, the coaches treat you like family there. Like, every, like well, as soon as I went there, they opened me with open arms. And then the coach, like Coach Morris, the head coach, he's fun to be around. The linebacker coach, Coach Crack, that's the one I talk to a lot. And he, like, Every day he texts me, he telling me stuff. So yeah. You working some other recruits to join you? Yes, sir. Who are you working on? Ricky Evans. There you go. Keep an eye on Ricky Evans up there at North Texas at UNT and Denton. That was Brandon Jones at South Oak Cliff. Brandon, thanks for the time and good luck with your season. And of course, congratulations on your commitment to UNT. Yes, sir. Thank you.